Comic Con could look a little different this year. Already the Writers Guild of America is on strike and the Screen Actors Guild could soon join the picket lines after voting to authorize a strike in July. And that could mean no panels featuring your favorite movie stars and directors. Our Jamie Chambers spoke with vendors and Comic Con fans and joins us live with all the details. Jamie. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult moment, but it's also hard to realize that Comic-Con is just around the corner and this summer is coming on very fast. What everyone looks forward to, the biggest event certainly of San Diego's year is just on the edge and we're already starting to hear some cancellations, some transitions, and everyone's starting to try to process what that means for them. Comic-Con is just one month out. Tickets are purchased and plans have been solidified for tens of thousands of fans traveling from across the globe to cosplay it up and meet the creators, actors, directors, and other super fans of their favorite franchises. There's only one hiccup, the Hollywood writer's strike. Comic-Con is very unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen until the week of Comic-Con, and even then, you still don't know what's happening. Depending on the writer's strike, Comic-Con's most coveted spot, known as Hall H, might not have the major superhero star power it normally brings to the table, with Marvel reportedly canceling their attendance to Hall H. Pretty heartbroken, only because it's Marvel, you know, like all the characters that you're dressed up, like half the people dressed up at Comic-Con are dressed up as Marvel characters. Who would you want to see at Comic-Con if you Chris could? Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get the question out. Eric Ariaga, a longtime Comic-Con comic book illustrator, says this might be the year Comic-Con goes back to its roots. When I was growing up with San Diego Comic-Con in the 90s, that's what it was. You went there for your comic book artists, your writers, and you just, you know, enjoy the comic books. Since the report of Marvel canceling their appearance, some fans are frustrated they cannot refund their tickets. I would want my refund, first of all, because, I mean, Marvel makes up, I, I would say, the majority of it. I mean, there's DC, too, but everybody's in a Marvel right now. Ariaga says for true fans, this might be the best year yet. Great opportunity for you to go and meet those artists and, you know, and really appreciate what they've done for the industry. And there is so much to see from video games to the toys exchanged to all the cosplay that people will see. Now, we reached out to the president of Comic-Con. He didn't get back to us. And when it comes to the actor strike, that potential, I was thinking maybe they could come down and protest in the halls of Comic-Con. I think that would fire up a lot of the fans as well. That's the very latest from the Comic-Con Museum here in Balboa Park. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. Well, we